When an exorcist does sessions in which exorcisms are done to compel the demons to give information in order to arrive at what is necessary in order to get them out, one of the things that the exorcist will observe is that when demons are caught in a lie or a crime of some sort, instead of humbly apologizing and asking for forgiveness, they spin the they make some type of excuse. They spin this. They spin what is understood as the truth of the matter to make themselves look good. They never admit fault. They blame others. Um, they very often will blame the possessed person or innocent people, etc. They create a diversion to mitigate the damage. You name it. Everything is done in order to deflect the blame and the culpability. Part of this is because of the demons, the fact that demons have no humility because their sin was rooted in pride ultimately. And so they will never apologize or ask for forgiveness except under great duress in session. And even then they won't mean it. They'll just go through the motions of it. Communists do the exact same thing. You notice that when they do something bad or communism fails in some way, they enter into the, the blame game. They blame this person or that person or this group of people or for that particular individual, etc., for their failure or their the thing that they did wrong. They never admit fault, even when everybody in the room can see it and knows it that it's them. They're the ones who have to they just won't admit it. They create diversions. This is why politicians have been doing this for some time. You know, something comes up and then the next thing you know, a building gets blown up. Um, you know, some particular congressman or president gets caught in something. The next thing you know, there's a bombing somewhere, etc. And the media is complicit in this. They know that. They know that that's what's actually going on. The communists will also label things contrary to reality to mitigate their own fault, error, or evil, or to hide their own agenda. Demons just do the same thing. They're, they label stuff so that it makes it look not as bad as it is, or it makes it look good, when in point, in fact, it's actually bad for people. They will create false flags. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this later, but as part of their, uh, as part of their modus operandi, is they don't let any crisis go to waste. Demons will create a crisis and then blame the possessed. We'll see that a little bit more later. And so do the communists. It's all done to gain control over the individual. As in the cases of demons, it is ultimately done just to mitigate any possible loss of power that they might have by being seen as culpable for something that they have done which is wrong. We see this also in relationship to not just individuals, that is the power that the demons have over individuals, but even over societies or nations, that demons will do the same thing. But it's also true even in relationship to communists. Communists do the same thing. It's ultimately to divert the situation, to divert people's perceptions, to divert the blame and the culpability so that they will not lose power or control or be seen as weak or whatever the case is. This is why it's all part of the lie as well. But this is a different aspect to it. They simply won't accept blame.